सो हाई ऑल वंस यू क्रिएट अ फ्री ट्रायल अकाउंट और यू सेलेक्ट पे एज यू गो बाय द वे आई एम यूजिंग पे एज यू गो आई एम नॉट यूजिंग फ्री ट्रायल एनी अकाउंट यू क्रिएटेड सो यू विल लैंड अप इन दिस पेज सो दिस इज द अजोर पोर्टल ओके सो एट द वेरी फर्स्ट वी हैव अ हैमबर्गर मेन्यू ओके वेर इन इफ यू क्लिक ऑन इट सो यू विल गेट द रिसोर्सिस वॉट रिसोर्स यू आर गोइंग टू यूज दीज आर लिस्टेड ओवर हीयर as you can see there is a home dashboard and if you click on some of the services are listed here and if you want to see all the services so just click on this all the services some of our favorites as well so just click on this all the services once you click on this all the services you will see the services which are provided by microsoft azure so you will find out all the services um see so uh, if i click on this favorite so you will uh, see the favorite ones if i click on this recent recommended for you then you will uh, see um, um according to that let me click on this uh, go with the category wise if you click on this ai plus machine learning you will see these are the resources or services which are associated with ai and machine learning and if i go to analytics right so these are the resources which are associated with analytics and mostly i'll cover these services which are a uh, data factory uh, data lake Uh, which uh, uh, data bricks the lake analytics and all so as a data engineer you should know these things right so uh, i'll cover all these uh, services and if you go to compute then uh, these services are related to compute and uh, similarly you can click uh, on container and all so these are the services which are provided by microsoft right so from here also let's say you want to uh create an instance for azure sql database so you can click you can click on this hamburger menu followed by this sql database right this is one option second option either you can click on this hamburger menu and followed by this all services and uh, from all services you have to come to this databases because we know a sql database comes under this database category right and then you can click on this and then you can create an instance how we can create an instance i'll tell you later so this is how you can come to this Th this is one way right and uh, similarly if you want to uh, create any resources or let's say related to data engineering so you can come to this category analytics and then uh, select the resources which you want which you want to work on and then you can create an instance right so we will see how we can create an instance but i'm just giving you an overview of our sort portal this this was one way another was there is a search bar over here right so anything let's say you want to search for data factory so there is one option i told you that like click on this hamburger menu come to analytics and search for uh, data factory another way is simply directly search for data factory okay data factory this search bar on this search bar type anything whatever resource you want to work on type that resource name so this is my data factory we will see how we can create an instance for data factory and all later so this is how you can search for any of the services right from here and uh, let me go back to my home dashboard so this is my home dashboard okay cool and uh, so these are some of the popular services which are reflecting over here at the top and uh, if you want to create a resource then simply you can click on this plus icon okay let's say we want to create a resource for a uh, data factory okay so click on that and search for data factory data factory okay and uh, data factory will come up from the marketplace and from there you can select your resource so let me close this do not show again it's loading okay yeah it loaded and uh, the very first one is my azure data factory and uh, from here i can create a uh, instance for it so we'll see later how we can create an instance right so this is how you can create a resource let me go back to the home dashboard right and another way directly click on uh, the resource which you want which are showing up here or search in the uh, search bar and just click on that resource and then you can create a resource right um next thing is um, is this one right so you can write if you are coming from linux background so this is cell we know so you can do 
you can create a resources from using cloud cell or uh, there is an option for if you want to use bash or parcel i'm going with the bash one you can select any one so it is asking for a storage account currently i don't have any storage account it is asking for subscription as well right so my subscription is pay as you go in your case it would be free trial i'm assuming right cool so now i'll apply this one okay it's it will get started requesting a cloud sale and the, meanwhile i'll explain you other things so this is notification you either you create any resources you delete any resources or let's say uh, you created a budget and uh, you will get a notification all those kinds of things you think things you will see at here in the notification bar right then uh, we have okay it got opened now you know a sql command like if i do ls ls stands for listing so it will not do any listing because i we don't have created any of the a directory or or files so let me quickly create a directory over here mkdir test hit enter and now if i do ls so it is showing as test one folder got created or one directory got created right so um, by this you can also use parcel in azure and you can create a resources how we can create a resources i'll explain you later but this is a this was a quick intro that how we can use cloud cell let me close this one okay cool now we have settings if you want to make any changes then you can always come here and you can change it like uh, about the appearance theme okay language if you want to change it hmm. then uh, you can sign out plus notification settings you can change it from here right i don't want to make changes anything so let me go with the next icon which is support plus troubleshooting so if you encounter any any of the issue if you want to get support from microsoft team then you can uh, always come here and you can write a mail or you can um, maybe they provide some chatbot or else anything they will provide you can come here and you can seek help from microsoft team right so you can briefly describe about the issue and uh, they will help you out right and the next one is uh, if you want to give some feedback then uh, you can provide feedback okay cool and the last one is this is my account by this name i have created an account on microsoft azure and let me click on this and if i go to my microsoft account it's not needed uh, anyway but I still let me show you about my Microsoft account. Okay, this is not related to your Microsoft uh, Azure. But anyway, let me go to my Microsoft account. So from here as well, you, if you want to make any changes, you can always come and do the required changes, right? Now let me come back to my Azure portal. Now let me refresh the page over here. Okay, so now I'm in Azure portal. Uh, now you can see this is totally blank because recently I have not used any of the resources that is the reason it's totally blank once you start using any of the resources that will appear over here and at the bottom if you scroll down at the bottom we have again there is uh, there are four resources not four actually there are four fields I can say uh, so you can go to your subscription if you click on it you go to resource group and if you click on this all resources you will be able to see all the resources then we have tools okay if you want to learn something about microsoft azure then you can click on it and you can learn it if you want to keep track if you want to uh, to monitor the resources then you can use azure monitor we will um, we will cover this as well don't worry guys okay then if you want to use microsoft defender for security purpose then go ahead and use microsoft defender and you can check the cost management i'll cover uh, the budget also in the upcoming uh, lecture how we can create a budget and keep track of the our uh, budget then here some useful links are also available which you can check it out guys and also the mobile app is also available on play store and app store right 
what's next i don't think anything is pending uh, this is a favorite if you want to uh, make any resource favorite then you can uh, always come here to your favorite zone uh, favorite tab and you can click on this uh, resources quickly and you can navigate to that resources uh, quickly right and if you click on this more services you will uh, able to see all the services which are provided by microsoft azure which is not needed but still i showed you uh, let me close this one it's not needed okay cool yeah see these are all the list of the resources which are provided by microsoft azure now again let's come back to our home tab okay so this is my home menu and one more thing okay uh, you can create a dashboard as well dashboard here also it was there in the navigate section a dashboard so what dashboard uh, i'll cover not in the next video in the upcoming videos what is dashboard see and now if you see uh, in the home menu there were some of the resources which were showing there if you want to uh, let's say you want to see any particular resources which you want to uh, so in your dashboard then you can create your own dashboard I can and you can see only those resources which you pinned in the uh, dashboard right let's say uh, let me go back to my home menu so here you are able to see kubernetes service azure ai services as well quick start center as well let's say you don't want to see these resources on your dashboard right this is your dashboard on your dashboard you don't want to see these resources so what you can do you can create your own dashboard this dashboard is created by microsoft azure this is the default dashboard but you can create your own dashboard wherein you can specify that i want to see only these resources so you can pin those your favorite ones there and always you can click on your dashboard you can select your dashboard and then you will be able to see your favorite ones right so we'll see in the upcoming videos not now so this was the overview of azure portal i hope you got it guys right so let's see in the next video bye